Whichever one of these four artists makes the best portrait of me wins five grand for their sibling. Whoa! You have five hours, the time has officially started. For your references, you have five minutes with me. Oh. So in the previous video, we all did training. Michelle was dead last. Ben and Jake were tied for third. David came in second and I won. But I'm not competing today. I see Zach every day. I think I know what his face looks like. But in the last challenge, I didn't do so well. Ben's probably just gonna do a mediocre portrait and then draw a dragon to make up for it. Did you see your character shirt of Zach in the school video? No, it was beautiful. Wait, these are really- I'm scared to start, oh my god. How do you think your students are gonna do today? Um, I'm really rooting for Ben because yesterday I feel like he felt horrible after. What about Michelle? She's a serious underdog here. I heard her saying that she sees your face every day. That does not matter. I think I struggled in the training video because the other artists are just way more talented. But today, I have more time to work on my piece. How is everyone? Help! Help! <laughs> Don't go into any detail until you have the big shapes. I don't know if that helps. <laughs> so far, it's good. Go a little further for me to judge. Whose base looks really good? Probably Ben. <laughs> Ben, how are you feeling? I think five minutes yesterday for the other training was like too little time for me, so I think five hours is enough time. So what the contestants don't know is that they will actually each get five minutes of fun's time throughout the challenge, and they can use that at any point. Imagine like I do Michelle's and it's like one eyeball very realistic and the rest of <laughs> That might be cool. Though. All she needs is that one good eye. I want to win money for my siblings. I don't know which one yet, so uh, maybe they'll have to sweet talk me and I'll pick from there. If you had to give one general piece of advice to all four artists, Artists, what would it be? The first hour is the most important because that's where you get all your shapes and your proportions down. It's much more important to have a great foundation before you get into shading. I wonder how much detail they're gonna add because I have a couple pimples today, so yeah, I'm not looking the most attractive. So I wonder if they include that. <laughs> I'm including all the pimples. I really want to win this challenge because I really want to win money for my little sister. She's a Sagittarius like me. They have been doing their portraits for approximately 22 minutes. It is time to announce the first twist of this video. At any point, you get Devon for five minutes. I want Devon right now. I want Devon I think I'll take him last. Jake, so you call Devon's help first? Yes. You get five minutes. Your time's already started. You need to tell Devon exactly what you want. You can't just tell him to do the drawing for you. I need help with the proportions of the face, everything about it. What was wrong with Jake's drawing at the beginning? Everything. Huh? How are you gonna use Devon? Map out my proportions. He had Devon completely start over, so the shadows. I don't think Jake had him start over, I think Devon chose to start over. Hands up! How are you feeling about it? I'm feeling really confident. Does this look more accurate? If the angle is just harder, this is like way easier. When I help you, you should have me like do that one. Here's your chair. Wait, Ben, are you using your five minutes already? Yeah. I think if you could just fix it up and then add the shadows. Do you think the nose is fine? No. David's portrait should, looks like the Chucky doll. You didn't even draw any of that. I think Devon did a great job, so. By the end of this, Devon's gonna be an expert at drawing me. Three, two, one, all right. Apparently all my proportions were wrong, so this was much needed. I think you need to measure out your proportions. I, I feel like I look like a Star Wars creature. That's why Devon's gonna come and help me really soon. That's Zach. That's the drawing. Huh? It doesn't look like Zach. I think I can come back from this. Everyone look up at the clock. It is time. We have our first challenge, so let's head to the other room. I'm so sorry. God, yours looks like Zach. You still have Devon's help. I want the middle, but Jake took it. I'm in the corner. Position is very important here. You do not want the corners. Well, great! In front of you guys are giant sheets of paper and a giant pencil. You guys will have three minutes to draw Devon's portrait. Devon, come sit over here. Wait, oh my god, okay, wait. <laughs> ah, I didn't learn this in class yesterday. <laughs> this looks not good. This is extremely hard. That's what she said. I gave him a big chin. Pick up the pencils. I don't think I captured right, so his beauty, one. guys. Oh, that was so hard. Devon and I are gonna go take a look at these pieces. I like the whole avatar look. Isn't like the airbender or avatar isn't like the blue people. The, blue people. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes are very close together. <laughs> There's something really artistic about this that I like. I, I drew the hat instead of the eyebrows. Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. I call it Picasso Devon. See, I don't think this is one of Michelle's stronger ones. So Devon, pick your favorite one. I choose Jake. Yes! In your faces. Jake, since you're the winner, choose who's gonna be safe with you. Michelle. <laughs> All right, Michelle, you're safe. David and Ben, play rock, paper, scissors to see who has to use a giant pencil for 30 minutes. Bruh. I'm gonna do scissors. Oh, the mind oh, game. That's my tactic. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, oh, yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! All right, Ben, what are you gonna do this time? Paper. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Let's go! You got the giant pencil for 30 minutes. Let's go back to the drawings. Well, I was kind of hoping Ben would get it because his drawing was so 
good. That was the most intense game of rock, paper, scissors I've ever played. I have to use this disgusting, huge pencil. I feel like this is just an automatic, like, 30 minute time deduction. I think it's time to get Devon's help. You ready? But I want to restart. No! It looks like the biggest struggle from everyone at the moment are the proportions of my face. Something about my face being slightly lopsided. He's throwing everyone off. Oh, I definitely made Zach's face too big. I always see him as a little bit more chubby. Hey! So I actually feel like I've lost a little bit of fat. You have squishy cheeks. I, I've been hitting the gym regularly. Okay. Squishy cheeks. Time's up. It looks really freaking good. I gave good. you an extra 10 seconds to be nice because you need it. <laughs> In the kinetic sand video, I wasn't able to win money for my brother. Hopefully this time, I'll be able to get the dub and get him some cash. Jake, I think this big pencil was an advantage. I think you should keep telling yourself that. I think I will. Everyone, it is time for challenge number two. Come with me. Oh for this next challenge, you guys will have five minutes to draw a turkey. You guys are going to erase drawings of turkey, if that makes sense. Your time has started. I don't even have to look at turkey because I draw him for a living. Jake, you don't have a lot down. I'm getting a little worried for you. What do you mean? All right, final seconds. Come on, finish it up. Three, two, one. Erases down. Shoot. Let's take a look at it. Michelle, cute. I like it. Jake, what, what is that? that? I don't Jake, want to talk about, about it. Cute, David. Ooh, very nice, Ben. I think Ben's had a more creative element to it. He added his own touch. David copied turkey a little bit better, but I'm sorry, David. I'm going to have to give it to Ben. Yeah, I like his better. That was a close one. I really need to start winning one of these mini challenges. How squishy is that? So squishy. Very plump. David, how cute does he look? He's the cutest. Well, you can get him at chcstore.com. All right, ah. someone catch him. Ooh. Here's your advantage. On the face, there are a couple different features. There's the lips, the nose, the eyes, the ears. You can choose one feature to erase. Oh, someone else is drawing? Yeah. So you may not erase anything but that one feature. I already have my decision. It's Jake, isn't it? Who thinks of these things? The ironic thing to answer your question. Jake actually came up with this idea. Kiss that nose goodbye, Jake. You know what? Goodbye, Goodbye, nose. Bye, nose. What is this? That's not the nose. Huh? Can you smell anything? Because <laughs> you don't have a nose. <laughs> not even gonna lie, I felt great to erase Jake's nose. Zach said I made him look like a K-pop star, but this is how I actually see him. Literally perfect. Okay. I don't think it's gonna be that hard to revive this nose, but it's definitely not ideal. I'm having a little bit of trouble, so now I'm gonna use Devon to come in and really give his face like the structure that it needs. Devon! Carve out the side of his face and like the jaw, because all of that's confusing. Yay! Portrait queen, help me. I think you need to give the eyes a little down here. more shading. I hope with Mackenzie's advice, I'll win. I'm gonna prove that I'm not a terrible artist. Just kidding, probably am. But I wanna be better than yesterday, at least. Personally, I'm getting kind of bored. Is it because of the drawings? <gasps> no, it's not because of oh, the drawings. Okay. <laughs> it's because it's taken a while. And so, I bought us a little toy. Oh, we go up onto the roof, and we can point it at their drawings and mess with them. Oh, perfect. So we have two of them. This is restricted area. Not anymore. <laughs> this way, up here. I'm pretty sure we're authorized. Oh my god. This is crazy. Bruh. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm having so much fun messing with them right now. <laughs> We did it for too long and then they all just looked up. <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. I guess not big enough. Sex being a child. We're not banking that. Take it too far. Jake, how's your drawing going? That was dirty. Look at how wet that, that is. is. <laughs> I grabbed it right as I, mean, it I was throwing it, it was in the air, he grabbed it away and it hit the wood. <laughs> that was so rude. That one was you. No, that was you! Zach, I restarted your left eye. You just look like a random Asian dude, and I realized I had to shift it left and make it bigger. I'm so impressed with your comeback. Are you? Yeah. All right, everyone, look up at the clock. Actually, I'm not sure why I told you to look up at the clock. We're actually gonna do a mini challenge. Follow me. Mini challenge. Trust me, Michelle, you're gonna wanna win this one. I think if you win this mini challenge, you can win this whole thing. <laughs> if I win it. Let's go, Michelle, I'm rooting for you. So in front of each one of you is a pencil and a pencil sharpener, and this is a stubby pencil. You're gonna sharpen your pencil until it gets to this size. First person to finish wins. You may begin. Jake, how is yours so messy? My little hand. And if you don't win, just don't get last. Is this it? Nope, not quite, okay, Jake. Me, Too me, short. Give me that. Is it that? Is it that? Nope. This, this, this. You got it, Jake. Right, guys. This, this, this. You got it, Ben. Yeah. You got it, David. Okay. Michelle. 
you're a disadvantage. You oh. see the stubby pencils on the floor? Yeah. You gotta use those. Are you joking? Nope. No, no Michelle. Not the stubby pencils. And for your advantage, right. you get to vomit for five more minutes. Really? At any point. I didn't need the advantage. However, I really wish I didn't have to use the stubby pencils because that is a game changer. I asked Devon to do the hair, but he's actually just doing a little bit of everything, which I'm not complaining about. All right, Devon, time is up. Why don't you walk over to each person, give them one or two things they could work on for the final 20 minutes. Under his eye, it sh should be like more space of whites. I want you to win. You make the shadows darker. I don't know what else to say. It's not perfect. Add a shadow to like the yeah. middle of, yeah, where it like goes in a little bit. That shape where you have all black, make it as dark as possible. Fill in like every little spot. Everyone's doing really good. The competition is strong here between you two. I'm rooting for David and Jake, but since I coached Jake a little bit more, I'm rooting for him. <laughs> Sorry, David. I thought the stubby pencils were gonna be bad, and it actually helped darken my piece a little bit, so maybe I needed the stubby pencils. I would date him. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. All right, let's take a look at these. Here's how we're gonna judge them. Devon, Mackenzie, and I, we're gonna go around, look at each one of your pieces, and give it a score out of 10. Whoever ends up having the most points wins. We're gonna start with Ben over here. It looks overall exact, but I think the whole thing is like too gray. I feel like it should have more contrast, a 6.9. Okay, I think the same thing as Devon, but overall I really like the shading. 8.5. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a seven. 22.4. 22.4 uh, for Ben. Hi, Michelle. What I love about it is the proportions are good. It looks like Zach. You should hang this in your home. A 4.8. Oh. And I think oh. Zach's lips look a little darker than in the reference. So I gave you a five. Yay! Yes. Big improvement. I think everyone can agree on that. I would say yours looks one of the closest to mine in terms of proportions. So I gave you a 6.9. Yay! Yay! David, I'm so happy that I told you to change the reference because Thank God. What you were doing on that last portrait was... I would have given you like a four. Yeah. I love that you got the dark shadows here, mm -hmm. the darkness of the eyes, the hair. 8.4. Yay! Uh, I really like the shading. The lips look really good. The eyes are good. 9.5. Yes! Oh my Thank goodness, you. that is a high score. Just like Devon, I am so glad you changed your reference because at some point I look like E.T. Yeah. You have some very nice highlights and I feel like when I step back it really pops out. I gave you an 8. Yay! Thank you. 25.9 for David. Okay, yes! Jake, I love how dark you went on the eyebrows, the eyes, and the hair. Relax, the jaw is awesome. <laughs> you did the jaw at the end! Well, I only had two minutes and I was working with this, so... <laughs> It looks amazing, and you got a 7.7. .7. This was a really hard angle. But overall, you did really good, so I gave you a 7.5. Thanks. I think you did a good job. You took a couple L's this video, but I think you came back strong. You chose one of the more difficult angles, and while I applaud you on challenging yourself, I think in this case, certain parts it look like you struggle with in terms of proportion. I give you a 7.5, which means... David, yes. come forward. You're the winner yes. of the challenge. Yes. David, do you have anything to say to your sister before you pick a card? You're a queen and you're a Sagittarius, and I play when you lots of money. In here are a ton of sheets of paper, anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000. Whatever you choose, she wins. 5,000, 5,000. 5,000. You want five grand for your sister? Make sure you guys subscribe. And also, everyone say thank you to Devon. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> See you guys. Ah, oh, let's break. <laughs> Are you scared? Yes! Are you filming? Got your nose.